Hey there, Taurus, how are you? We're going to get started on your tarot reading for the month of October, Taurus. Let's begin by choosing a tarot deck. All of the decks and or all of the decks, tarot and oracle decks on my table are Halloween and horror inspired decks. I have the Deviant Moon Tarot, which I think is pretty popular. I think I've, I've seen several tarot readers use this. The Deviant Moon Tarot. Now that I think about it, I have another, I have another Deviant Tarot. I'm not sure if it's called that, but it's by the same artist. I also have the Vintage Horror Tarot. I have the Halloween Tarot. I have Supernatural, which I've used already. I believe it was Cancer, the Villains Tarot. Yeah, the Villains, because Ursula is scary, and so is Jafar, and, uh, that definitely that witch there is from Snow White. I have Hocus Pocus, which I've used as well. I believe it was Leo that I used it for. I have the Poe Tarot. I have two Edgar Allan Poe decks. This is one of them. And I have this one over here too. I have the Vampire Tarot, the Madhouse Tarot, which I used for Pisces. I kind of want to use this one again. This is a really cool deck and uh, the Tarot of Curiosities. I have a, a lot more, uh, I have many more tarot decks that fall into this category, guys, horror and uh, dark Halloween inspired decks, but these are the ones that made it to my table this time around. I'm still holding this one, so let's use, let's use it. The Tarot of Curiosities. This is a really cool deck. The Tarot of Curiosities. I wish it would have came in a better box. You see, the box is a bit flimsy, but the deck itself is pretty cool. It's not a very common deck. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with it. The Tarot of Curiosities. Okay, the Tarot of Curiosities. That's an uncrossing oil, guys, that I have, and this is uh, another ritual oil that I have. Reveal the truth is what I call it. All right. Holy Spirit, we are connecting. Oh, look at that. The, 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 ter the terror. Oh, my God. The tower. What in the world? Hey, it's Halloween. I'm serving Halloween, okay, this month of October. Torres. All right, Holy Spirit, we are connecting with the zodiac sign of Taurus. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations, most importantly, do we have this month of October for Taurus, for my for my bull gang? Let's see. Well, we did see the tower, so uh, hmm, what is that? Let's see. Let's not get too fixated on the tower. Let's not get too fixated on the tower, guys. Okay. Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the sign of Taurus. This is your love reading for the month of October. Show me what is uh, of most significance, of most important. Show me the present moment. What it is that my dear Taurus, Crosswatcher, or whoever, okay, is here watching me. What is it that they should know? We have the judgment. I feel like that's connected to that tower. Yeah, that's definitely connected to that tower. I feel like someone's having like a really hard time. I'm seeing someone's hair on fire. I'm seeing someone's hair on fire. What is that? My your hair's on my hair's on fire. Your hair's on fire. Isn't that like a like a, like a saying? Like your hair's on fire. My hair's on fire. Let me look it up. And it means like, well, you it could mean several things, but it's something urgent, right? It's like it's something urgent. Hair on fire. Hair on fire. Meaning, let's ask Google. Impassioned, wild, crazy, rage-filled, frantic. Is that you, Taurus? Is that you? Or who's that? There's somebody here in passion, wild, okay? Crazy, acting crazy, rage-filled and frantic. Yeah, I'm seeing someone with burning hair. So, uh, oh, and then right now I'm seeing like patches of hair being ripped 
uh, and bald spots on their head. So that's when you pull your hair out, that's something else too, right? When somebody says, like, I'm so, this is making me pull my hair out. It's it, you, it means that you're stressed out. So there's somebody here that is stressed out, guys, that well, we could say that is worried um, about, you know, the tower. What is the tower? The tower is just something that um, is causing some somebody um, to panic. I feel like somebody's panicking here for sure. We have the judgment. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Um, I feel like specifically this has to do with like um, uh, what somebody is go uh, what somebody is going to say, how somebody is going to react. Yeah, like yeah, somebody's worried about what somebody else is going to do, or it's yeah, somebody's worried about what somebody else is going to do. Judgment, um, judgment as well. I feel like somebody is. I feel like somebody's guilty here for sure something is is coming out with with the judgment the judgment uh, is about the past okay or or just or just something okay i feel like it's definitely happening and uh, i do see someone being guilty here with the judgment card or, or i see them thinking stressing out a whole lot and um i feel like it has a lot to do with this king of pentacles which could be the the male taurus it, or it could just be the male in this situation, which um, I feel um, that the, the like this person, like whoever's stressing out that I saw with burning hair, <laughs> they were pulling in, in patches of ball, like there's patches of hair. Yeah, this is a person that's um, crazed. I feel like there's definitely a lot of rage, a lot of anger. If you can imagine like if some yeah something's happening and uh there's somebody i feel like trying to control the situation i feel like it's something that somebody just noticed okay like somebody noticed something because like think about when your hair has gotten uh, caught fire right i i know what mine has i don't know i can't tell you but i i know i've, I've had that experience and it's always like <gasps> you know <gasps> and you and you try to put it out so i you know your hair's on fire so i'm i'm seeing that symbolic as somebody noticing something um and trying to put it out you know like when you try to put out pot out put, put, put out a fire and yeah and you know as soon as you notice it like you want you you so i see somebody panicking too um yeah and uh well the king of pentacles to me is somebody that like right now i'm hearing you don't want to bother you don't want to disturb like there's somebody here that does not want to disturb a, a certain you know atmosphere a certain environment a particular person or situation like they're just trying not to bring attention to something and well i feel like that's what this king of pentacles represents because to me, like this King of Pentacles is just like, it's like a, it's, it's a calm, we could say energy, or it's something, uh, this King of Pentacles, again, it's a person, it's a, it's a relationship, it's a, it's a, a situation that has been pretty, we could say stable and, and it like does not there's somebody here that does not want to interrupt a person, does not want to interrupt a certain situation. And well, I feel like it has been interrupted in some way. We saw it at the very beginning with the tower, again, the burning hair, somebody pulling their hair out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Tell me more about this judgment. And this month I want to read out of the book, okay? This is the judgment. Let's just see what it says. Karma and rebirth. Karma and rebirth. Healing of old wounds. Judgment of life so far and positive aspects of life you live. Judgment of life so far. Yeah, you see this, this is a judgment uh, on life so far so yeah i feel like there is something absolutely uh there's there's uh there's something in some way that is that uh is uh 
going wrong in, in some way for a, a particular person and uh, they're trying to, I guess, you know, uh, why did I put this back in? Get it under control. Tell me more about this judgment, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this judgment. Karma. Karma. Actions. We have the page. We have the page of keys. Which I believe is... Uh, what is the key? It's, oh look, it's right here, keys. Youthful, hopeful, seeker, enthusiastic and bold, as well as eager to learn new creative cycle of hope and a chance for advancement, possibly travel. The key is fire. Okay, this is the king of wands. I feel like somebody is worried about uh, what somebody could possibly do as a result of, you know, what uh, what's happening or what has happened. The page of, of wands, there could be some sort of message, some sort of in, yeah information message because that's a mailbox. So like I'm thinking email, you know, when I see a mailbox and then the key, um, something, you know, that was accessed, you know, key could be mail or yeah, like mail mail or yeah mail email or just information here that for many of you was access yeah with this key um and i feel like there's something that is locked here as well okay so like take a look at this this is the king of locks i believe it's called which is the king of pentacles you see that keyhole right there it looks like there's there's a there's a there's a protectiveness as well. You know, that is this keyhole is pretty much a pentacle. Um, so there is as well. I'm hearing um, someone is um, having issues and problems because there is there is a. One, something sudden has happened, something maybe that they did not foresee, um, as well as there is I'm hearing um there isn't access to something anymore. There isn't access to something anymore. Or is access, there is no access, like access to something is of significance. Um, all right, so that's the present moment. Page of Wands as well. Um, look, there it is again, you see? There's a, an envelope there. This is the Six of Wands, fly, air, mail, six of wands and here we have the four of swords and we have a woman that is uh i feel like that is the person whose hair is was burning i saw big hair i saw like some big hair this is the four of swords yeah look there's somebody here that is um there's somebody here that will be pretending as well. The reason I say that, guys, you know what's so funny? Uh, well, let me, the re I'll tell you the story in a bit. That woman to me, it feels so fake. You see how they fainted? You see, like, it's like they're fainting and the guy's kind of like holding them like, are you okay? Uh, now here's the story. <laughs> My grandmother, guys, on my mother's side, my mom's side of both, okay, my dad's side and, and, and my, my mom's side of the family, they're very, you know, passionate people in the way that they express themselves. Um, and especially my mom's, okay, my mom's family, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's funny to me in many ways, like when I think about them, um, they remind me of, a, of like, a, a Spanish, a, like a soap opera. They, they like the way that they act. Um, it, re, it, they remind me of that because they're so uh, extravagant in their behavior sometimes, you know, and it's kind of funny. 
uh, my grandmother on my mom's side, she used to faint. <laughs> yeah, guys, a lot. Okay, a lot. Like every time there was some sort of argument and, you know, my grandma was, my grandmother was very mischievous. She was a Gemini and uh, she was always causing trouble, guys. That was my grandmother. She was always like gossiping, telling people's like, at some point she even told me some of my mother's secrets, like things that I'm not going to tell you, but that she shouldn't have told me, you know, like those things, <laughs> but she was that kind of person. And uh, she was always really, you know, sometimes she was the, the, the good person. Sometimes she was the bad person. Again, the twins. And um, well, and she was like really tiny, guys. Really, 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 really skinny, 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 skinny. Just super, just bones and uh, really, really short. <clears throat> and every time, uh, well, she would get caught in, you know, doing something that she didn't want to be uh uh, every time she got caught doing something she, bad or she wasn't supposed to be doing or gossiping or whatever. Um, and, you know, they got after her and, or it had to be kind of big, you know, uh, she would faint and we would have to blow air on her. And you could tell she would just, you know, ah, uh, and, you know, a family member would like grab her and we would say like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> so it kind of remind it reminds me of that. It's, it rem it's just is reminding me of that. And it is the four of, uh, is the four of, of pentacles. So a little while ago, I was telling you guys about something being secured. Like there's just, it's, it's so, what I mean by that is that there's something here that has either happened, taken place. There's just a factor of some sort, something that cannot, cannot, it's like you, you, you it can be undone. Okay. It can be undone. It, and this also cannot uh, be influenced or affected because in a sense it has already like happened or, or been done or accessed, okay? And that's the Four of Pentacles, which does bring a, a sense of security, safety. Think about like a safe box, okay? And well, here we have somebody that um, has some, like I'm hearing some pretty good acting skills, okay? There's somebody here with some pretty good acting skills and they're pretending, okay? Um, may even faint, okay, for some of you, okay? There's a spectrum here of uh, uh, high, high, how high the drama is. And, you know, for a selective few, you know, it's pretty high, okay? It's pretty dramatic. And here we have this, we have the six of wands. So I feel like the six of wands is just representative of like a victory over some sort of calamity or, or adversity. The six of wands, the six of wands as well. Like I like to see it as being seen, especially so with an envelope, envelope being there. So when you, when you have a victory, right? Um, and uh, you, you think about this kind of like a trophy, it's like an accomplishment of some sort. What happens? You receive attention, don't you? You receive attention. You're in the limelight. The Six of Wands is also the limelight. And here we have a light bulb. So you see, it's it's like something, um, information, something that is out. You see something that is like out now, something that I'm noticing right now. It doesn't look like the light bulb is uh, on. Doesn't look like the light bulb is on. So um, there is, for many of you in this situation, still, you know, um, there, there is, there's still things that are not maybe fully exposed, but they are, maybe it's just a matter of time, but they are, but um, I'm hearing there is like a little bit of room, a little bit of rope that somebody here is using, okay, to uh, try to... I'm going to, I don't even like, I, let's continue. I don't know, but let's just I don't, maybe cover something up or to keep, you know, something going. There is somebody here, guys. I'm telling you, faking. There's some, they're fake, faking something. Tell me more about this four of pentacles. Tell me more about the four of pentacles. We have the seven of cups. What did I say, guys? The seven of cups. Look, and you see there's a mask there. 
there's a very nosy part person here that has their nose in everything. You, this is the um, the the seven of cups, and the seven of cups is illusions, delusions, is, uh, you know, things like somebody, you know, it's like you can't, it, like the smoke, uh, the smoke is clearing, but it's, there's still, you know, it's still a little cloudy, gloomy, you know, that's what this is, uh, the seven of, of cups. Now the seven of cups, I'm also seeing as some sort of deceit, or I'm seeing it as some sort of illusion, guys. Now this is like medicine. So for some of you, very selective few, there could be somebody here faking some sort of illness or some sort of like medical condition for some of you pretending to be sick or like emotionally impacted or, or, or something like that for some of you. Okay. Um, I'm hearing to just kind of still, you know, f f buy time or something. The seven of cups. Those remind me of medicine bottles. And again, the seven of cups is, um, it could be confuse confusing, but when you're in it, it ne doesn't necessarily feel like confusion. It just kind of, you know, you're just, you can't see, you know, I'm here beyond the veil. Interesting. That's what's happening right now, guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> let's continue. So, uh, let's continue. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this situation and the way that it's going to be developing. <laughs> Sounds like a soap opera. It surely does. Sounds like a soap opera. Holy Spirit, how is this going to be? What foresight can we give Taurus, Cross Watcher, whoever is watching us right now? What uh, foresight can we uh, provide my viewers right now? Foresight, clarity, guidance perhaps, and uh, well, what the future is uh, bringing and how this situation here, this drama, this telenovela is going to be you know, unfolding. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. There, for a selective few, there's some, some medical thing here. Some sort of condition or, some, or, or the way something is affecting. There's something about a condition of some sort for some of you. Um, okay, that is the Queen of Swords. Yeah, that is in an injection <laughs> let me see what is that called needles injection needles yeah needles warrior ruling a difficult domain a woman alone in control of her own mind and perception powerful intelligent sharp ideas can accomplish anything she wants to intellectually interesting So you see like what to me what's being highlighted about this queen of swords is like uh, where is it a woman alone in control i'm here so this is for many of you a, a woman here uh, that is trying to uh who i'm hearing who has been in control is trying to stay in control of you know a situation circumstances something um control of her own mind and perception um now aside from that i this could also be you Taurus, or this is this is somebody here i feel that perhaps you know what was i saying like there's somebody here faking something and specifically i said a condition now for many of you it doesn't have to be a condition okay it could just be just lying or faking something okay and um well who would be able to know right like who, who would be able to unmask? Re remember in the Seven of Cups, we saw someone with a mask and that's the illusion here. Um, it could be easy to fool someone in the Seven of Cups, okay? Because that it as well represents a lack of like perhaps full information. So you could tell somebody, oh, well, you know, um, I mean, you could tell somebody, 
oh, well, you know, there is, I'm just, I'm just saying something silly. Like lions are or like purple. And if that person doesn't know like what a lion is or, you know, or anything about it, they'll just say like, oh, okay, you, you see, it could be very easy to fool someone who, you know, does in, in the seven of cups because they lack, you know, a full spectrum here of, you know, a full spectrum of a big picture here. Um, so who would be able to, again, like unmask that person who is faking the condition? I would say it would be this one, right? This nurse here, because this one, I guess somebody's faking a condition. This one would be like, okay, this is here, this symptom, this is not here, this, and they'll be like, okay, like what? So you see too, for many of you, this is this is you tours or this is somebody here that, um, it's not easily fooled, okay? It's not it's not fooled. And in fact, I feel like they're very intelligent and I feel like they have figured something out here. Excuse me, because a woman alone at, in control of her own mind and perception. So you see, this is a person that is not affected by other people's perceptions. Yeah, they're not. What does it mean? They're not easily influenced, like whatever, you know, is going on. She's not going to take somebody else's word for it. Somebody's not going to tell them what's going on. It doesn't matter what it appears like. This queen of swords, okay, uh, makes up their own damn mind. Not easily influenced, very intelligent, very, very perceptive, powerful intelligence. So what does that mean? Sharp ideas. It means this one can figure out <laughs> things quickly they could they, they could they could figure things out so there is somebody here for many of you that's you Taurus let's just say that's somebody here uh, that um well I'm hearing that knows or has figured things out and with the page of cups and with the three of uh of wands let's see and again, I'm reading off the book, guys, because I kind of I want to highlight these decks. And in fact, that's something I think that I want to start doing, guys, because I have a very huge collection of tarot decks. I guess that's the Taurus in me. I'm a Taurus, guys. For those of you that are watching me for the first time, I am a Taurus. And uh, well, something about Taurus is, is that we like to own things, collect things. And uh, for me is uh, I really like uh, I really like tarot decks and I have. I have a lot of them, so much so that I have to watch myself now. I have to watch myself now and in, in not, you know, overdoing it because it's like, where am I going to put them? I don't have a whole lot of space. <sighs> okay, the Page of Cups, let's see what that says. And I like reading off the book as well, guys, because, you know, it, it allows you to like, you know, get involved and and hear what what that says and further interpret this and well there's further messages here for many of you um page delightful youth on top of the world good news happiness contentment intuition and creativity pay attention to the dream realm and psychic realm you may find answers there so for many of you uh there i mean there's there's dreams here there's there's the intuition okay is, is definitely hyphened this page of cups is uh is good news this page this page of cups is good news guys notice that i asked about future future uh foresight so this is something that you can expect to be unfolding i feel like you can expect clarity i feel like you can get i'm hearing a piece of information you, uh, something that is going to allow you to make your own uh you know to come about your own conclusion and it's something that is going to be very clear with the page of cups. So yeah, this is news guys, something, a piece of information or just, you know, something that comes, you know, to your awareness that allows you to, um, and I'm here and understand what's happening and, um, what well, is going to give you the, this clear, this clarity of mind. And, uh, well, again, you're going to be able to, uh, to, to, to understand and, and, and see clearly what we have here. Uh, there is, writing there for many of you you see writing so like letter and then we have the three of wands 
So again, the Three of Wands is about like future plans. I feel like this future foresight, guys, um, I feel like for many of you, this is something that maybe many of you, there's something weird going on or, you know, you, you send something, you know something, but um, I feel like perhaps the present moment, it's still like something you can't call out completely because the seven of cups is there, but it's like you, I'm hearing the more the days or the weeks or whatever go by, like the more clarity you, 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 the situation is getting. My mind went blank there, guys. That's been happening a lot lately. Uh, the three of wands. Okay, let's, let's, that is three of keys. Balance of Trinity, explore options and adventures, but in a noble, stable, impeccable manner, integrity and honor, fulfillment of agreements. There's good news, guys. That's what you can expect. There's good news that is going to be received. And like that, that news that you receive, it, again, is very good. And it's going to allow someone, it's going to allow you, it's going to allow another to be able to plan. And this is like something very good. This is something very good. So receiving news, that's what you can expect. News, clarity, understanding. And uh, well, that is going to um, allow you another to, to plan, you know, this is what I'm going to do now that, you know, this is happening or not now that this is out or, you know, because of this, now I am able to plan, to make plans. And again, that is, that is, that is something uh, very, very pleasant. That is something very positive, guys. That's something it is that you can expect in, in the future as things develop. Here we have the Ace of Swords. <laughs> Goodness. Ooh, like I'm getting itchy, guys. Like head just started itching. That is uh, inspiration, new attitude, and clarity of mind. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Sharp focus, take steps in direction to perceive things in a different light, expand consciousness. That's what, like, whatever we have here, I told you guys, there's somebody, um, let's just call it a lie, whatever. There's just something uh, that uh, is, there's something coming out. There's clarity that is going to be had uh, in regards to a situation that uh, was, let's just call it in the dark. Um, and uh, well, this Ace of Swords is just representative of just kind of seeing, it's just seeing it, just seeing everything. You are you can expect that. You're going to see, you're going to see everything and uh, well, get out. I mean, that for many of you is, is going to... Um, well, I'm hearing just change everything. It's going to change everything, however that resonates. Closing message. That, that's good, guys. That's wonderful. Let's see. Justice. 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 Oh, and then here we have the five of cups. Wow. This is a love reading, right? This is a love reading. So for many of you, there is definitely somebody lying here for sure. There's, there's somebody lying. There's some, there's the faking of, of something. There's faking. We saw it at the end in the beginning. And well, um, it seems as though somebody, some, a, a cover of some sort has been blown, right? And somebody is just dealing, dealing with the aftermath of that and uh, trying to still, I'm hearing, keep things under control but that is it's not happening we saw the tower there and with the justice and the five of cups um i do see someone here uh this is the person that is uh the the one faking okay um well i i do well, I do see them getting what it is that they deserve and what is that well when you do something bad uh what is it? Whatever's done in the dark, it comes, it comes to light. So that's pretty much like what we have here. The five of cups, there is a, a, a strong sense of loss, the justice, and then the five of cups as well. It's like whatever somebody was faking, um, 
just you know it, it's it, it i'm hearing it's just going to come out that it it's it's not that okay i don't however that re it's not it, it's not what it is it, that's not what it is the five of cups and the justice there's a, a huge loss here of some sort but that loss it's it's like that's the way um that that's that's the way it's i want to say it's a that's the way it's supposed to be. That's just the way that it is. Um, it's, it's, there's a loss. You, you, that's what you get. That's, that's just how things are going to roll. So I, I do see this as somebody, um, I'm hearing with their arms crossed, like, gosh, this sucks the way this turned out. This sucks. The way this turned out sucks really bad with the five of cups and then the justice card that's like going to court okay many of you there might be a, something like that and like just losing like just 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 losing and then here we have the nine of cups but again all of this is something very positive because it's the nine of cups so for many of you this is something incredibly positive for a particular relationship and a connection guys absolutely with the nine of cups Somebody's getting what they they deserve. Somebody's losing is pretty much what this is. Somebody is losing justice. Again, it's like going to court and, uh, well, they lose the five of uh, pentacles. And then here we have the nine of cups again, which is just, again, that, okay, here, this loss that somebody is going to experience, I'm hearing, is a victory for um, another person, a victory for a relationship for these two here beautiful energy guys wow all right so now let's get some oracle cards to close the reading i like this deck i really do let's get some cards from here this is the magic of you oracle the wisdom oh, it doesn't look scary enough but it is it's it's scary the cards in there look scary i mean look at the the cover the wisdom of the house of night let's grab some from here taurus if you want to book a reading with me you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box it's going to take you to watervoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me okay let's see closing message for taurus closing message for taurus closing message we have message 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 there's a message guys for sure there's a message we saw it in future in future foresight uh there's something there that is uh it's like receiving news and for many of you, it's like, aha, uh -huh, you know, messages. Yeah, there's a message here. And then it says individuality. Hmm. Individuality. This reminds me of the Queen of Swords that we saw. Because in the in the book, um, the definition for the interpretation for the Queen of Swords said something about like being alone, like a, alone with powerful perception. So, um, this individuality for many of you is representative of you, someone here standing alone, maybe feeling alone for a very long time. You know, when you're in those situations when, when you know like somebody is just uh, faking something or you know something about a person that nobody else knows and uh, or you know something, a situation, it's like nobody else can see it and, and there isn't maybe anything you can do about it in that point for, you know, whatever reason. Um, like, you know, that feeling for some of you, that might be the thing. Um, individuality, guys, I feel like this is, uh, I mean, just somebody standing on their own and trusting their own intuition because, look, there is a moon on, on, on this one's head. So this is about, um, this is about trusting your intuition not being swayed left and right, not uh, not allowing others, okay, to influence you, to um, distort, I'm hearing your perception. This is somebody that uh, 
listens, I'm hearing to, to their higher guidance, listens to their intuition and, um, well, they, they, they stick to it and, uh, fearlessly I, I feel, and, uh, well, that, that makes them an, an incredibly strong and, uh, different, I, I would say individuality. And well, there's a message here of some sort guys that, uh, is of importance is of significance. All right. So listen, no matter what, like, don't let anything or anyone lie i'm hearing lie to you trick you fool you deceive you pull the bell o pull the veil over you now with that individuality i'm telling you there's like a free thinker here right we saw that again with the queen of swords like very intelligent ideas so again individuality guys is just saying like embrace embrace how different it is that you are and that could certainly be talking about your personality but i feel like mostly is talking about perhaps like like how you see a person how you see a particular situation and you might be the only one and it's saying like st stick to that no no matter what all right this is the magic of you oracle unlock your hidden truths we have ubuntu Ubuntu, Ubuntu, compassion for others, Ubuntu. So their compassion for others is of significance. Remember that. And then here we have solitude, alone but not lonely. Interesting. You, you see, you, for many of you, you are, you've been alone in a situation. You've been alone. You've been alone. You felt alone. You've been alone. You've, you've uh, been in solitude, it has felt that way, but I'm hearing this is really teaching you, my dear Taurus, to uh, it, just em em embrace embrace yourself. It's, yeah, it's been teaching you to embrace yourself. Like all of this, again, we go back to that individuality, like it's just telling you in a way like that you don't, I mean, yeah, I don't really wanna say this, but you don't need anyone. But I feel like it's also saying that you're not uh, easily like influenced. Uh, like, you know, like you don't go with the crowd sometimes and, and that can certainly uh, make you feel alone. You see, like when you, you, you don't want to be a part of something or, or, or maybe when you don't think like somebody else or, or yeah, you see that can mm, make you feel, uh, that can make you feel alone. Uh, for many of you, that is how somebody made you feel. Compassion for others. There's a need to um, have compassion here, guys, um, for something, for for someone, okay, in this situation. In solitude, alone, but not lonely. So I feel like this is saying for many of you, embrace, okay, this, uh, this time. Know that, you know, you, you may be alone, but you don't have to be lonely. You're not lonely. And I feel like for many of you that, you know, you are alone, but you're not lonely. So embrace, okay, there's a gift in, in solitude, my dear Taurus. Remember that, okay? This is what I have for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You take care, okay? Bye-bye.